I'm leaving Pattaya. That's right, I'll be sailing off into the sunset in a matter of days. Don't get me wrong, I love Pattaya, you know that. Alas, the people have spoken. They've said to me in the comments and in the street, Sam, you're wasting your time in Pattaya. Get out, you need to get into wider regional Thailand. Force yourself outside of your comfort zone. Force yourself into areas where you must learn the Thai language. And on top of all that, Sam, you need to get yourself up to Chiang Mai. Then how will this voyage take place? Will it be on a rubber ducky? No, it will not. Will it be in the back of a pickup truck? Or in Australia, a ute? No, it won't. Might it be on Kizzy's Kawasaki two-stroke dirt bike? Souped up for overland expedition. No, unfortunately, it won't be on that either. Will there be a support crew following me in a car with air conditioning and food and water and spare gasoline? I think you know the answer to that one as well. No, Sam, you will not be doing it with any of that support or any of those vehicles. You'll be doing it with what you have at your disposal right now. That's right, a busted up 2006 Yamaha Mio scooter, 113 cc's with hard as nails suspension, fairly questionable brakes, a five litre fuel capacity, a speedo that will not exceed 80 kilometers an hour under any circumstance, a cracked mirror, a 20 baht poncho, and about 10,000 baht. What could go wrong? And heading to the beautiful Kanchanaburi province. This one's a sleeper, isn't it? It's really, really stunning. I would be lying to you if I said I have not been heavily inspired by Kizi and Paddy's recent road trip they did together a few weeks ago to Kanchanaburi province. This doesn't even feel like it could hold a weight, let alone a massive weight. The way both those guys executed their travel road trip videos I thought was absolutely spectacular and, and both very different. If you haven't watched them, I highly recommend one of Paddy's, his version of events, and then and then watch one of Keezy's and, and, and see the difference. Plus all the history of the World War II stuff that, that went on there, I that just got me. And the value that I was able to extract from, from those videos in comparison to my own videos here in Pattaya, that they were just worlds apart. Since my breakup, the only thing that has stopped me from exploring this vast country has been my need to do frugal living, my frugality, plus a little bit of fear of the unknown. In the last 12 months, I've visited Isan three times and I made documentaries there that I could be very, very proud of. By the people watching, they were received very well and the channel I felt was on the up. Rural Thailand is shrouded in mystery. The beachside cabana bars and dazzling discotheques of Pattaya, Phuket, Samui and even Bangkok are a far cry from the real Thailand. And since my breakup with Lily, I really feel like my channel has bogged down here in Pattaya. And my videos, uh, thematically, they're mundane at times. So, I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to take a punt. I'm going to leave the warm embrace of Pattaya, where there is so much English spoken, there's so much Western food, and for me and many other people, so much familiarity and comfort. So my goal is to uncover some elements of the country that perhaps have not been so thoroughly documented like so much of life has here in Chomburi province. And hey, even if I don't discover anything new or bring you anything completely original, at least I will be doing something new for myself and I will be challenging myself. And I think it is going to be incredibly challenging with the rain and then the heat and the bugs and finding food and finding affordable accommodation. I've been on those motorcycle forums and there are so many groups of people that have successfully navigated huge journeys across like thousands and thousands of miles. But what I have noticed about those travelers is they often travel in groups. 
even if there's a second person or a third person. That provides a lot of comfort and security and safety, right? Now, I'm not retired. I don't have any friends here that want to go and do the same thing at the same time as me. So for that reason, I'm just gonna go it alone. Plus, Kesey will tell you, I can be a little bit difficult after a couple of days. It, it, it is risky in a way for me. Um, and that is because I will be walking away or riding away, such as the case, from familiarity, from my daily routine, from the familiar faces that, that, that sustain me when I'm, while I'm abroad, I'm not back in my home country, uh, living near my family and close friends. That's all gonna be off the table. Where I plan to go, I would know nobody, not a single soul. Now I'm sure I will meet people along the way, both Thai and foreigners, obviously. It's also risky for me because I'll be leaving my regular earnings. Um, it's not much, I, I've said before in videos, it's about between 20 and 25,000 baht a month I can earn by making videos here and associated projects. So my plan is to do a video as often as possible from the get-go. Uh, edit on the fly and release one hopefully every three days. I think that's realistic. I tried to do dailies a few weeks ago. I tried to do two or three back to back, one day after the other, and I was knackered. The people that have done it in the past, I just don't understand how they can fit it all in. Also, I've carved out a very low budget lifestyle here. I have a home that feels comfortable. If I have a rough day and I've talked ad nauseum about my anxiety and depression of the past, I know if I'm feeling bad, I can just scurry on home to my little condo and shelter in privacy, in peace and solitude. That bathroom over there, that's probably the last Western bathroom that we're gonna see for the next two days. Basically my, my channel, I feel like it's drying up here in Pattaya. Since the inception of YouTube, Chomburi Pattaya has been done to death. It's oversaturated with videos and it's, it's very, very hard to make a living um, right here. So the writing's on the wall, something needs to be done and this is what I've decided to do. So for this one, I'm going to have to ask for your help. I'll show you my draft itinerary and I need recommendations for affordable lodgings along the way, guidance on the national parks, guidance on which roads to take and any pitfalls, things to watch out for, dangers. I'm all ears for learning right now. As I said, folks have been traversing Thailand on motorcycle back for, for decades successfully without hiccups, uh, without trouble. But I suspect that these people have had deep pockets, uh, well-serviced vehicles, and perhaps they're not riding solo. So what I'm asking for you today is to take a quick look at these maps and tell me what you think. Tell me about my urge to try and get as close to, I would love to go into, but learn a little bit about the Thai government run refugee camps that are scattered on the Thai side of the border with Myanmar. They are chockers with refugees. And there's not a lot of information floating around about this. Uh, my SOP is one of the locations that I've tentatively put on my itinerary. Now I've talked to a friend who lives here and has worked in the UN for many years. He actually just got back to Thailand after a, calls it, after a contract in Sudan of all places. I asked him about visiting. Is it safe to do so? Would, would, would I be allowed in? Uh, and he said, Sam, do not go anywhere near them. I, he jokingly uh, used the word uh, decapitated was definitely <laughs> in his sentence. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm all ears for information about that as well. Most of my new videos are going to be about preparing, preparing for the, the bugs and the heat and the rain. I will try and do the country justice, honestly and accurately. And Chiang Mai is my end goal for now, if I make it there, fingers crossed, no promises. In fact, tomorrow is not promised to anybody. So let's just go with it. All right, I'm excited. Thank you for watching.